Hello everybody and welcome back to my mom's kitchen. Today we are going to do a nice easy recipe for scones. Yes, that's right, nice little breakfast recipe for scones. If you enjoy scones and some jam and tea, then this is the recipe for you. You sh oh, it's so easy, like you don't need all that much to make them, which is why I'm making them because you may have the recipe, the ingredients for this already around your house without having to risk your life and go to the shops. So, let's show you what you need. So what you need is two cups of flour sifted, four teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, an egg, a cup of milk, 50 grams of butter. Then just for cutting your scones, if you don't have a cookie cutter, you can use a glass like this and then you can cut your scones out and you need a baking tray of course. That's all that you need for this recipe. See? I told you it was easy and simple. This is what we gotta do first. I don't know how to film anymore. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay, so you throw your dry ingredients all together. Here comes father to make some noise. I'm going to take a whisk and just gently combine all those dry ingredients together. Okay, so the next thing that we do is we take our butter and we pop it in there and you're going to pinch it together with your flour like this, pinch, 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 pinch and make breadcrumbs. So that's what we're going to do now using just the fingertips. Get your hands nice and dirty. All right, so now that you've got that breadcrumb texture, what we're going to do next is add our wet ingredients and mix it in with a knife because you want to be very delicate, very gentle with these scones. You want to keep them nice and fluffy and light. A knife. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is because, oh, oh, oh you wanna focus. So we crack our egg in there, pour our milk in, grab a whisk, break that egg up a little bit, get off. <laughs> it's like a boogie. Okay, now what we do is pull this in and we gently bring everything together with a knife. You do not want to overwork your dough. That is how we want it. That's what we want. Okay, then on a floured surface, tip out your dough. It's under my nails, which is delightful as always. And you're just going to kind of pat it all together and press it down very gently. Again, you don't want to overwork it. Take your glass and cut some circles. Whoops. One circle, pop it on a grease tray. Boom, let's do the rest of those. When it's like this, push it all back together and pat it flat again, cut more circles. Okay, so there you go, your scones are ready to go into the oven. So we're gonna pop those into the oven at 230 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes. All right, so I will see you in 12 minutes once these have baked. All right, well, there you have it. Delicious scones. They didn't rise as much as I wanted them to because I patted it too flat, but shh, it's fine. But this is the most wonderful thing about freshly baked scones is just being able to rip them open. Yum. Nope, I'm just going to top of this one. Yum. <laughs> All right, but that is that for this video. They are absolutely delicious. I love these scones. And it's really easy, really simple toot sweets to make. That's all. So enjoy those with some butter, some jam, some whipped cream, and delicious. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments section below. And if you would like to support me and this channel, then please subscribe. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video.